Hey guys, it's Ecomacy Tillman again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining today. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you if you haven't subscribed to the channel to please do so. But just clicking on the button below to hit subscribe because it's really going to help me in bringing you a lot more content. Today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to continue the videos on procedural generator with buildings. I've been working on these buildings for the last few weeks and I've been having a lot of fun. So I hope you're having a lot of fun and if you have any questions about Anything that I've done in the previous videos, please make sure that you let me know. I'm also going to be moving the remaining properties and options that I had on the previous videos over to the scriptable objects, which we were using for themes. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. All right, guys, so let me show you what we're going to be doing today, which is to clean up my whole scene and move everything, most of, I think everything that we have in the project, I'm going to be moving it to my scriptable object because it's going to allow us to just control every single property through these themes that I have right here and I'm going to show you how that works right now if you didn't watch the previous videos make sure that you do watch them because they're going to give you a lot more insight of what I'm looking at right now so in the previous videos I show you how the project work what settings you can you can change to change the procedural building and I, can al I also show you how we could embed uh, what's called a script level object, which I'm using for themes in my case, but you can use it for a lot of different things. And, and the way that it works is I can I have it embedded in the project. Normally you don't see these, and that's what I did in the previous video. I embedded it by creating a custom editor. So now I can, you know, I can change these. And, and the cool thing with, the, with this is I can go ahead and, okay, if I don't want to use that theme, I can just change the theme and then I can regenerate everything. Basically allows me to swap features and, and properties about a building. So what I'm gonna do in this video, like I said, I'm gonna move everything that we have here over to our scriptable object implementation. And then I just also realized I broke some things by by moving, you know, moving some of the change events that I had in the project over to my scriptable object. So, and the custom editor. So we're gonna be fixing that as well. And I think at the long run, I'm not gonna need to do the, the actual script change events. We're gonna be able just to use the editor extension that I have in here. So I think what we're going to do is, let's go ahead and move everything that I have right now. So I'm gonna go here to my progen scriptable object, and I'm gonna show you some of the basic options that I have you know, created from the previous video, which is you know, roof, roof prefabs, randomized roof selection, include roof, randomized window selection, those were some prefabs that I had before in my project in my project script. So what I'm gonna do is let's go ahead and make these a little bit smaller. I'm gonna try to make it easier for you to see. Maybe let me make it a little bit bigger there. And then we're gonna start, it's gonna be basic. I'm just going to start moving things around. It's going to complain about it, but we're gonna be fixing them as you know as I go. So what I'm doing right now is just moving the, the wall the actual wall prefab over to my my project theme the scriptable object and then we don't need so i can make them private but since we're going to be accessing those from you know from this script i can make them public and and i'm the only one using this right now and then you know long term once i get it you know clean up and then you guys can use it through patreon and github then you know we might we might find other ways to communicate with buffalo classes but i think that works for now and then I'm gonna try to keep everything organized just like I did before. And so right now we have the window prefab in here. So I'm just gonna move it to, so we're gonna start walls and then we're gonna, and then right after we're gonna do the window. So I'm just gonna go ahead and move that over. This is going to be also public. I'm also going to be moving the properties that are common, you know, next to each other. So if we're doing windows, let's keep the windows options next to each other and then we can also i think one cool thing will be if we if we just do wall options here and then this one will just say you know if we want to do the window options then people know that this area is for window options so that's what i'm using that header for i don't know if the headers work with the scriptable objects i would imagine they do i i, don't, I just don't remember using it so we're just going to keep it in there and if it doesn't work we can just use them as comments i'll just put comments instead of headers. So we have window prefab, randomize, and then we also have the the roof. So let's go ahead and we just remove some of the extra space here. This one is going to be roof options. And then we're just gonna have any anything alike, you know, that is related roof 
prefabs, randomized roof selection, and include roof. It's going to be all together. So it's gonna make it a lot easier. And then this is a feature that I'm gonna be adding later. I'm gonna leave it here because I'm gonna need that as soon as we, you know, as soon as we add it. And then we're gonna do the same thing with door prefab. So right now it's just one, like I said, but I'm gonna be changing these to, to use randomized doors. And then we're gonna just change this to public. And there we go. So this one is going to be door options. And then keep inside walls. This is another one that we can move to the wall options. And we can just remove the serialized fields because we're gonna be making it public too. Okay, so I think that all works. And now we can do the window, the window percentage chance. So we're also going to be moving that. And there we go. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna keep going and then I'm gonna just fast forward these really fast as I'm as I'm making the changes. All right, so it looks like I finished that part, guys. So let's go ahead and now we need to reference the proper, you know, the proper properties from the right place. So for instance, this is now complaining. We just have a lot of things that are red. And the reason for that is because we need to now pull that information from the, from the actual theme. So I'm just gonna say theme, and then we can just, you know, we can just fix that everywhere we have red, that's now gonna be coming in from the theme which is going to be pretty great because it's going to be a lot more flexible, like I said in the beginning. And there we go. Let's go ahead and do rows and columns and the cell unit size also needs to come from, from the same location, door percentage, door prefab, wall prefab, and I think we're almost done. So there's just a lot of red because we move those properties around. We move it to another class instead of having them in this class and I think that's everything. I think I might have some issues in other classes that are also accessing some of those properties. So let me, I think it's on the on the project, there we go, on the project randomizer, we're gonna, we're going to encounter the same problem. But I did here is I exposed a property called theme. So you can see that the theme property is right here, it's exposed, so we can access it from, you know, from other classes as well. So I'm just gonna say theme, but capital this time. And then we can just paste it here, here, and then I think that should cover every all the different settings. Just clean this up here. Now we can just close the project. Let's go to the project, and I don't have I, think I don't have anything else that I need to clean up. I'm I'm actually gonna remove this. It's bothering me that it's in there. I'll just make a note that I need to implement that in the future. And then I think the only thing, and then let me just do this as well. The only thing that I'm gonna keep in here as a serializable is going to be my theme, and which is gonna make it a lot easier. And everything here is just gonna be private things that I'm using. This awake method, let me go ahead and move that. That shouldn't be, shouldn't be right above it. It should be right here. And the reason why I got confused is because I'm using a Lambda. Let's go ahead and change this so that it's clear that this is calling the generate method on the awake. Okay, so I think that covers that. I got my counters, I got my list of rooms, my floors, and then also my public that expose of the theme. And I think I have everything. I like writing clean code, so these going back and forth and looking at it, I think it's it makes it it makes it easier to to clean up and then organize. So I think I have everything that I need. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if this is going to work. And I shouldn't say it's going to work. I think it's going to work. I'm being, I'm being optimistic. Nothing works the first time, and, and developers always say that they do, but they actually don't. So you can see now that everything is coming from the dark theme and all the different options. We we have our headers, which is something that I, I didn't think it was going to work, and actually works with scriptable objects as well. So you can see wall options. We can see window options, roof options, and also the door options. We, we lost all the different connections because they lived in a different implementation, in a different script. And I'm also going to be losing everything on the other, on the other files, so but that's okay. So for this building, we're looking at the roof. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new theme, and this is as easy as it gets to create a new theme. I can just clone this. 
Or the other thing that I can do, I'm gonna clone it long term and actually in the next few minutes. But if you didn't watch the previous video, one thing that you can do to create it is you can go into assets, create, and I have a tool, uh, basically an option under assets that is cat categorized by project. And then I can just click on project team. And this is going to create a project team for us. So for now, I'm just gonna clone the other one because that one has some of the options that I need. So I'm just gonna clone this one. And then this one, what I'm gonna call, I'm gonna do, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and use a the default theme for for the cloning. So I'm just gonna clone this one. And this one is gonna be called roof theme. And the reason why I'm calling it roof theme is because this one I want to focus on changing the roof. So I'm just gonna go and select names that are related to the Unity scene name. So let's go ahead and do that. And then now go here and then select the room theme. And I think that should give us the option to, to actually change it. So the world prefab, let's go ahead and it's gonna go into prefab and then focus in those options. So for the walls, I'm going to, I'm going to just select the wall symbol. It's gonna be the wall that we use for this. And then, yeah, we're gonna get some errors because I haven't done all the references. Then for the, for the actual doors, we also need to select the door. We're gonna use the door symbol. And then you can see that things are starting to, things are starting to kind of work. We're getting some errors because we don't have windows yet. And then for the windows, I have a lot of different options for windows. So I'm just gonna do five here. We're going to start with the, with the window symbol. I can also do, let's see, the window with balcony. Can also do a window with balcony open. So one of them is it's with the balcony closed. One of them is one of, with the balcony open. And then we can also do a window with, let's see, I think that should give us, we can also do a window with a roof. I don't remember what that one is. Let's go ahead and change this to four. And then on the number of floors, I think that covers up everything that we that we need. There we go. So now our building is starting to, to kind of take shape. The the other thing that I that I think I want to do is I want to have roof by default. So let's go ahead and go back into VS Code and I'm gonna go into my progen scriptable object and then where it says include roof instead of start with false, I'm gonna change that to true. I want to I want to be that the default because it's we really want buildings to have roofs without roof is just weird so i just added that options because I, I just wanted to add something else to the implementation also i could see what was inside so i think if we do include roof there we go that it's going to look a lot better the the other thing that i'm looking at right now let's see roof with and then door simple and for some reason i'm getting some let me make sure the I look at my lighting. I'm getting some transparent things on the on the roof and I wasn't expecting that. So let me see why that is. That might be one of the the roofs that I was testing with. Window oh, okay I think it was I think it was this one. Because now let me go ahead and go into Yeah it might be one of the materials. I'm gonna remove this and not go into ISO. Let's go ahead and get close here and then see if I can. Okay, so I'm missing, I'm missing a roof. Let's go ahead and see if maybe I'm missing another option in the generator. And I'm gonna keep, let's go ahead and keep inside walls for now. And then if I remove inside walls, so I think I might have an issue with the inside wall implementation. Because as soon as I, as soon as I remove it, it is also removing some other things. So let's go ahead and change that to keep inside walls. Let's go ahead and change it and set it to true for now. And then I'll look and see why, why the, what, what problem we have with that. And I'm gonna go back into my project generator and then I'll just check that option. And then we should have, you know, a building that looks more, you know, more to what we had before. And then what I'll do is, I think I need to increment the number of rows because I had a lot more before. And then also the number of columns. We can also change whether to randomize the room, the roof, the actual window selection. And then we're getting an error because I haven't selected this one right here. So what I'm gonna do is, let's see, window with roof. And I don't know, oh, I, I see. So I think the window with roof is basically this one, like this one right here where we have a little bit of a roof. 
and we also have a window with balcony so I don't know that I like how that looks let's see if we select the window with the glass I think that looks cool except that's not the look that I that I want for this for this building so let's see if we have window let's go ahead and remove it let's just keep it let's go ahead and keep it at three I think that works and and then we can increment the percent chance on the windows just have more windows and then it's going to clear here the console because we don't hopefully we don't have any more errors so now if i change the rows they change so we're good Every, everything is working and then we basically just move everything over if i select generate it also it also works so we have those settings you know working so i think this this view this scene it's it's good to go let's go ahead and move into the the other scenes and so right now i'm looking at the scene that is called roof so let's go ahead and move to the other ones i'm going to look at the dark day this one is going to be a little harder to do because of the look and feel of the buildings and in fact if i start changing them it's going to change everything so let's go ahead and change another one and then i think i think i'm going to call that good and let's go ahead and do this one this is going to be one that is going to be easy because i've a, i don't have a lot of variety on these buildings so we can do let's go ahead and go into themes and then let's see we have a default theme and we have a dark theme so i use the 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 roof thing on the other one let's go ahead and remove the dark theme and I'm going to use just the default theme on this one and see if we can get, you know, something close to that. So I'm going to go ahead and select my theme. So I'm going to use the default theme. And then we're going to just click on regenerate. And you can see that as soon as I do that, it's regen regenerating everything. But I don't have the walls selected. So let's go ahead and select a couple of walls. So I'm going to go into my prefabs and select the wall simple. So let's go back here and make sure that I... That I select the proper one. Well, well, simple is going to be here, and we're going to keep in we keep in the inside walls. We're also going to need windows, so let's go ahead and select two different windows, and we can, and then we should probably be able to fix that one. So I'm going to do window simple, and let's go ahead and just do window simple to be honest. And I think that I think that will be a good good start. And then on this one, we're also going to be including the roof, and I think I had a two a two floor building and we can I think we can just I'm gonna keep the rows around let's see let's go ahead and do four and I think I have an issue because let's see if I if I'm missing anything as well oh, okay so I'm still missing the door so we need to do that that's what I'm getting error so he's gonna do a door a door simple and then there we go now magically things are working so I'm gonna make I'm gonna, it's not going to match exactly what I had before, but it's going to be close. And, and I, think I, I think I like that even better because I don't have a lot of, I don't have a lot of windows. And we can probably just go ahead and in, uh, decrease the door percent chance. That way we don't have that many doors. And, and I think this is a great look. I don't think I need to do anything crazier on this scene. I can do select the same one that I just did. So I'm just going to do the same one for this one. Regenerate and looks like we also are missing let's see what else we're missing on this one regenerate 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 and there we go so let's go ahead and i'm going to just remove all different rooms and then i'm going to have the system regenerate everything so it's going to be regenerate there and then regenerate here and let me clear the log and i'm actually going to put this right here Okay, so I think we should be okay. We shouldn't see any more errors. There we go. So there's a lot of cleaning up to do still, even though I I told you that I was almost done. I think you know there's always there's always a lot more to do, right? And then so just testing those. Let's go ahead and okay, row wise, I think I think we're okay at that value. What I'm gonna do here is I'm also going to be moving the structure. Let's go ahead and move it on Z. I think right about there. I want to see the other building now. So I think something like that works. I like the windows. And if we get close, let's go ahead and go to ISO. Because I think ISO just gives it this really cool look. And yeah, I love it. I really love how it looks. We also have our procedural sky. So we should be able to see the building from all directions and also see the sun. So. So yeah, so that's that's awesome. So let's go ahead and do let's go ahead and do one more. 
and then I think I'll be here. So we, we did the two buildings. We also did the the roof. Like, let's go ahead and do the other two building one. And then look and see here what we have. So this one is cool because we have the randomizer attached to it. So in this one, I'm just going to, I'm going to be selecting, actually let's clone one because this one has balconies and that's the name of the, of the unity scene. So what I need to do here is I'm gonna go into themes. I'm gonna clone the default theme and this one is gonna be we can just say balcony theme. It's just gonna be a, a theme that just has a lot of balcony on the options for the windows. So that's great. And then we can just go ahead and, and select the balcony theme here and also select it on this other one. We can just click on generate and we can click on generate. And now we're gonna see, you know, we're gonna see two buildings side by side because I haven't really changed the properties just yet. And excellent. And the cool thing with this is going to stick with the balcony options. So we can always, you know, we also need to, let's go ahead and do that one. I'm going to move aside a little bit more. And then we can change. I'm going to try to change more of the options so that we can see more variety. And we can probably just do, do an 8 by or 7 by 9 works on that one. Then this one I'm going to do. Let's go ahead and make it skinnier building. So we can just do something like that and then just have more columns. Okay, so I like that. Let's go ahead and change the floor size on one of them. So this one could be taller. We can make it about, let's go ahead and make it about 12. I like variety, I think variety gives it a really cool look. And then on the, on the actual windows, we're gonna need balconies. So I'm gonna set these to two. And then I have two different options right now for balconies i'm going to be adding more but i have a balcony that is open and i also have a balcony that is closed and that means that the window is closed and on, on another one is the windows is open you can see that if i go close this one it has a window that is open or this one the windows is closed and then yeah i think that i think that looks cool and let's go ahead and and do the same thing i think the other one didn't regenerate and even though it's using the same, so I'm gonna have to look at that. For now, we can just click on generate. It's gonna use the, the same options. And I think, I think I like what I'm seeing right now. Then I'm gonna change the camera angle. And let's go ahead and look at it from, I think if we look at it from this perspective, it will look cool. And okay, so I need to go back a little bit more. Okay, there we go, so let's do 12. I think 12 is fine and there we go so I think I think it's good they're gonna have the same settings because they have the same theme unless I change this one but then it's going to be applied so I think I think that's okay so so that's that scene and then so I have these three scenes mostly done so I have the two building which is the one that we're looking right now two building with balconies two buildings and let me see how let me let me correct the camera here as well let's do Okay, how about there and go back. Okay, so I think I think I like that. I'm pretty picky when it comes to aesthetics. So I want things to look really, really nice. This is one that was one of the first buildings that I built, so it doesn't really look that good. But but I think I think for now we can just we can just leave it random floors, many many buildings, isometric. Let's see how that one looks like. This one is one that has a lot of different buildings and for the most part it uses the same you know the same the same default theme that I had on the other one so I can change that one later. And then lastly it's going to be the the dark day theme. This one is going to be using the windows that we you know that actually have a glass and that's why you can see see it coming through. So I think I'm gonna call it good and if we go back to the two building scene and look at the project. So overall, this was really successful because I was able to move all the different properties from my project script to the scriptable object. And now we can source control that, we can see any changes and, and we could see it before, but it's now more convenient to do it this way. So I think I'm gonna call it good. If you guys have any questions about what I just did, please let me know. All right guys, thank you much for watching this video. If you guys have any questions about anything that I just mentioned, please let me know in the comments. Also be sure to check out gamedev.net because they have great resources for game developers. And also find me in patreon.com where I'm basically posting what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access source code. Thank you very much guys.